Hello and welcome to the 60th video in this series programmer chess engine in C. So this video we're finally going to see the engine searching. A very very basic search with massive horizon effects but searching nonetheless. Before we do that please go into defs.h and in the search info structure add two floats one called fh and one fhf and they stand for fail high and fail high first and we're going to be using those to have a look at our move ordering because in the following videos, once we've got quiescence in, we're going to have to start using our heuristics and our move ordering to make the search actually relatively decent. Because at the moment, although we're using alpha, beta, and we get some cutoffs, we're not using any kind of ordering of the way we're searching our moves. So we'll use these as an indicator to see how well the ordering is. So once you've got those in the search info, go into search.c, and I've added another printf line at the bottom here showing the ordering to two decimal places at the end of a searched line and then in the clear search function make sure you set fail high and fail high first to zero and then in alpha beta when a score is greater than or equal to beta so we have a fail high if legal equals one then we'll increment fail high first because that means we found we searched the best move first otherwise we'll just increment fail high and we we'll, can use the percentage relationship of fail high first to fail high to see how good our ordering actually is so the next thing to do is actually have a look at it searching so where we've got p Let's change the P for an S and let's delete all this code here because we don't need this principal variation stuff anymore. And let's set the info depth to 4. So we'll do a search to depth 4. And let's now call search position. And I can't actually remember the arguments, of course, now. Uh, we've got position and info. So that will be board and info. And up here, I've already defined pointer for this for an array of one for the search info and called it info, in case you're wondering how I could suddenly use info here. So we should now be able, when we type S, to actually search a position. So I'm just going to make this OK and type vice. And now I'll type S and let's see what happens. Good, and you can see, okay, depth 1 score is plus 30, and it's thought d2, d4 was the best move, and indeed a minus 10 to a plus 20 is a score of 30. 21 nodes, 224 at depth 2, with a score of naught, and you'd expect really the score to go in this manner, because we've got the uh, horizon effect here. d2, d4, and now it finds knight to c3, e7, e5, e2, e4, and then d7, d5. So everything also here seems relatively all right, although I'm a little bit surprised that it thinks the best option as why it is the minus 10, but anyway, oh, that may be because of the... But anyway, I'm not going to analyze it now. I'll do a little, little bit more debugging later. But And you see that here the ordering percentage is up to 27, 16% here and that's very very bad we need to be somewhere near the 90 we should expect when we've got everything implemented to be somewhere near the 90% so it's not very good let's though I've got a position at the top here which you can copy and paste in called WAC1 it's from a set of test positions called win at chess and this position is a mate in three in fact if I just go and start up arena for you I can paste this position in so you can see what the position actually looks like. So this position here, and this is actually a mate in three with queen to g6. And there's no way that uh, black can actually avoid a mate in three. If queen to g6 and he captures with the pawn, then the knight comes in with mate here. And if he does something else, then the queen goes into h7 and it's mate anyway. So this position is a mate in three. So let's see if we actually get a mate score from our... Remember, mate is 29,000. So let's just run this with this position, with wac1, and see if we can 
make this and run again the search again and get a mate score from it. So see if it finds queen to g6. So we'll make and run. And now we've got the position there on the board. I'll just scroll down a bit. And now let's do s. And indeed, you'll see that it's found at depth 4, 28,997, which is mate in 3. That's 3 away from 29,000. And indeed, it's found g3 to g6, so queen to g6. So it's And the, the mating line, it says, is queen to g6, pawn h5, queen takes h5. So queen to g6, pawn to h5, and then the queen takes on h5 is also mate. Good, so it's a good sign that it thinks uh, that it's found uh, a checkmate in three. So we'll quit that now and the program's actually searching. So that's uh, quite a, a big milestone for the engine. It's searching and is able to analyze positions. It doesn't have the GUI protocol implemented yet, so we can't do many things with it. We're still operating through the console. In the next videos, we're going to start putting together the move ordering and We'll run these positions again and see what kind of percentage improvements we get with the ordering. And then we'll go into search and actually implement the quiescence. And once we've done that, we're in the position then really to connect the engine up to the GUI and start playing it against some of the programs whilst recording it and having a look at some fun there. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.